Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay if you are new here and today I am showing you what I use on my face in the morning I guess. So I start by putting my hair up and a lot of the products I use are for keeping my hormonal acne at bay. So I'm really excited to show you these especially if you struggle with your own skin issues. First off, I use mouthwash, just a really cheap one from Aldi that cleans my mouth. Then I will go ahead and wash my hands before I touch my face. I'll then dry my hands. And I'll take the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser as well as some organic cold pressed almond oil. And this is my first cleanse. So I'll take a pea sized amount and then I'll take a full droplet into my hand and then I'll spread it between both my hands and then start working it into my face. So the squalene cleanser starts off as kind of like a cream and then it emulsifies into an oil. So I like to do this sometimes in the morning and night depending on how my skin feels. And I'll work it around any areas where I can feel like sebum plugs built up. So that's what I'm doing now. And then just working it all over the rest of my face. And I do this for about maybe five minutes. I like to really do this at night as well for maybe like 10 or so minutes. Here is me trying to show you one of the sebum plugs that I pulled out. And then while my face is wet, I'll take my Himalaya purifying neem face wash on a Boreo cleansing device dupe, I guess. I'll try and link that down below. I got it off Amazon and it was really cheap and it is really good. So what it does is it has like five, I guess, levels of vibration, which are supersonic and it kind of breaks down all of the sebum in my skin compared to just my hands like running over it. Um, it it has like these little silicon, I don't know what it's called, like spongy things I guess that are antibacterial. It's a massager on the other side so you can do like lymphatic drainage on your neck and like your cheeks if that works for you. One thing that I really like about the purifying neem face wash is that it originally saved my skin from acne. Like whether it was hormonal or just like a bacteria buildup, it saved my skin. Now I know that skincare is not like one size fits all so take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm just like showing you what worked for me. It might work for you, it might not, you know, use at your own risk, I guess. I'll also pop in my retainer after dropping it in the sink, so I have to re-clean it. I'll pop that in. I used to have braces as a teen, so I try and keep them as straight as possible because they do still move. And that is all I do in the bathroom. I'll then grab my skincare tub that has like my daytime skincare and my nighttime skincare all together so I don't have to have like multiple tubs. Apologies about the change in narration quality. I've had to edit on Tom's computer because mine has decided to die. 
Anyway, what I love to do sometimes in the morning when I'm feeling like really puffy and tired, especially when it's early, I'll take a ice cube, which is just some chamomile and green tea. And I'll rub that all around my face to wake myself up, to de-puff my eyes and to decrease any like swollen acne I have. Then I'll go ahead and make a coffee. For iced espresso, I like to take 100 ml of almond milk as well as one tablet of stevia, but we didn't have stevia so I just used natvia, although it wasn't too great so I recommend stevia if you're looking for sugar-free alternatives. Then I would just pop in a Nespresso pod and the coffee machine does the rest. So I'll find my spot on the couch and then I'll take a sip of my coffee before getting into my daytime skincare. I go in first with some petroleum jelly all over my lips and then I'll go in with the caffeine solution from The Ordinary. It's really good because it helps de-puff under the eyes and The Ordinary products have really fast absorption so I love that. So I literally just take a drop of this, spread it between my fingers, apply it onto my under eye and then pat into the skin. I'll then take the ordinary ascorable glucoside solution 12%. I don't know how to actually pronounce that but I did my best. I'll take a few drops on the same fingers, spread it around like the tip of my fingertips and then apply it to each area of my face. Then I'll keep sipping on my coffee, of course, because your girl's got a multitask. Then I will jade roller what's left on my skin, throw that into it, I guess. Like whatever product is on the surface, I'll roll it in further to the skin. I also love the jade roller because it's cool and it helps to also de-puff my face in the morning, which I really like. I'll then go in with the CeraVe moisturizing lotion for dry to very dry skin. So I take a pea size amount and usually I'll go in with my forehead first, then I'll do my cheeks and then chin. So I'll take a pea size for each of them, sometimes less depending on like the humidity. Then I will massage that into the skin. I do some like, I don't know, face aerobics, face gym, whatever. I've been watching JD Wady 180's videos. She is amazing and I've kind of just taken what she does in her facials to my skincare routine, I guess. Then I will use the Neutrogena Hydro Gel Eye Cream. I love this because it doesn't irritate my eyes so I can do it on my lids which I really love and it keeps them nice and moisturized and that is it if I am planning to go outside which I don't think I was this day but usually I'll use the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Dry Touch Sunscreen Lotion. It is SVS 50 and it is Hiram approved for sensitive skin which I love because it doesn't ruin the coral reef. So yeah, highly recommend that. And that is all I do for skincare. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.